Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, how can I use async await in a chrome.runtime to on message listener? Let's break down the issue. The viewer is trying to use async await in an on message listener, but they're encountering an undefined response when sending a message. This is a tricky situation because the documentation states that the listener becomes invalid unless you return true to keep the message channel open. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. Let's address the issue with using async await in the chrome.runtime.onMessage listener. The problem arises because the listener must return true to keep the message channel open for asynchronous responses. In your initial code, when you use await to get the key, the send response function is called after the listener has already returned, leading to an undefined response. To fix this, you need to return true from the listener function. This indicates that you want to send a response asynchronously, allowing the send response function to be called later. Now, when you send a message, the listener will wait for the key to be retrieved before sending the response, resolving the issue of receiving undefined. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To use async await with Chrome runtime messages, you might need a transpiler like Babel to convert your code to ES5. You can create a wrapper function to handle promises. The wrapper function checks if the return value is a promise. If it is, it sends the response when the promise resolves. Otherwise, it sends the return value directly. You can then use this wrapper with your async function in the Chrome message listener. Here's how you can implement it with TypeScript for better type safety. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. When using chrome.runtime.onMessage, you can send a response with a json ifiable object. Remember, if you have multiple listeners, only one can respond. To keep the message channel open for an asynchronous response, return true from your listener. For more details, check the official documentation, though it can be a bit challenging to read. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle messages in Chrome extensions with async await, you can use an asynchronous function inside the message listener. This allows you to wait for a response before sending it back.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this example, the user explains how to handle messages in Chrome extensions using promises instead of async await. They emphasize the importance of returning true at the end of the onMessage function. The user provides a code snippet for background.js, showing how to retrieve the current active tab asynchronously. They create a promise to query the active tab and send the response back. Additionally, the user shares a snippet for content.js, demonstrating how to send a message to the background script and log the received tab data. The user concludes by expressing hope that this information helps others, noting the time spent figuring it out. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Google Chrome extensions, the await keyword is not supported. Users have encountered syntax errors when trying to use await in chrome.runtime.onmessage.addListener. The user created a basic listener using chrome.runtime.onmessage.addListener but the send response function does not work with await. The await tester function returns a promise that resolves after four seconds, but using await inside it leads to issues. When sending a message with chrome.runtime.sendMessage, the user always receives undefined in the console indicating a problem with the response. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If it did guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.